Hey YouTube, thanks for coming back and watching another video on the Hey Buck YouTube channel. We are doing another unboxing video today. Got something here from Las Vegas. I think Revzilla and Cycle Gear have a distribution center out of Las Vegas for their customers over here on the West Coast. So I, I recently I did a video you can go watch on the AGV X3000 helmet, which is a really cool helmet, really liked it. I went ahead and installed a, a new shield on it. I put the comm system on it, and then I started riding with it. And the more I rode with it, the more I just didn't like it. It's, there's stuff about helmets that you just can't figure out really by wearing it around the house. You, you got to ride it. You got to get out on the bike on it, get up to speed, do whatever you're going to, your normal riding is before you can really find out whether a helmet's going to work for you. Long story short, I'm getting rid of it. I'm trying to sell it because, you know, you can't take it back after you buy it and wear it out on a ride. So I need a helmet. So I went into cycle gear um, I don't have a local store so I had to travel a little ways but for me I end up buying more gear through them because I can go into the store try stuff on and make sure it's gonna work for me you know size wise so I went in the store and tried on several helmets I was looking at showies I was looking at uh, icon uh, the air flight I really did like that one I was looking at uh, Sedici, which is their kind of an in-store brand that they took over from another company and they have been refining some of their products. Um, and I looked at Bell, and, and when I say looked at, I mean I tried these things on. I tried on a whole bunch of helmets and I went back another day and tried them on and I tried different sizes. You know, they're different sizes, round oval heads, there's, there's medium oval and then there's long oval and that's kind of how helmet manufacturers make helmets kind of ending up in one of those three groups. What I need is a longer helmet and so I had I tried a few on and I ended up getting a Sedici Strata 2 helmet. Read a lot of reviews on the helmet. I tried it on several of them. I went back to the store another day and tried them on. So I just really did my um, my legwork as far as seeing what the fit was like and I ended up buying this thing. I mean the, it was kind of a toss up between the Icon, the Showy and uh, the Sedici. And I got it in black with a smoke uh, shield to go with it. Thought about kind of one of the iridium mirrored shields, but uh, those can look cool in some cases. And let's take a look and see if that's what they sent me. And then I'll give you a look at this. So this is going to be the Sedici Strata 2. They made a Strata uh, that they sold a number of years back for really cheap. And that it just didn't go very well. But they've made a lot of changes. Uh, Revzilla did a recent review, one of their guys, I forget his name, but he did a, a riding, ride along kind of review of the helmet. Here we go, cycle gear stuff. And here's a pitch for Geico motorcycle insurance, which I use, by the way. Packing slip, here is the box. Here. So like I said, Sedici is a, Kind of a in-store brand you can only really get it at revzilla or cycle gear but i've used some of their other in-store stuff i've bought i've bought some of their riding jeans the jacket that i did review on and so anyhow i think some of their these things are pretty good so here we go Let's see what we got okay so here's the shield they went ahead and threw that in the box dark smoke the helmet with inside the bag. Here comes uh, the helmet out of the box. Here is some literature. Here's the bag. And here we go. Here we have the Sedici Strata 2. You can see this is just really a um, you know, style-wise, it's a street helmet. It doesn't have like super strong racing um, attributes or characteristics to it. Although it does have more, you know, if you saw my review on the X3000, what I loved about that helmet is just the retro, very smooth look to it, just round, um, retro looking helmet. I do not love 
all this going on back here. But you get less wind resistance with a helmet that is styled like that and does have some um, contours like this. Uh, the round helmet, like the X3000, I found that I got a whole lot of wind resistance and a lot of helmet lift. If you're riding around, most of the time around 40 miles an hour, if that's kind of your, your zone, um, and that's what you do, you're, going, you're really not getting over 50 miles an hour, I think it's great, but I, when I commute, I'm usually up around 60, 65, sometimes 70, and the, the helmet lift on the X3000 was, was just really uncomfortable, it was just annoying me all the time. And a lot of wind resistance too, just felt like the, the wind was just pushing that thing back in my face all the time. So, vents on the top, let air in, and we've got a, one big uh, vent in the front that is super easy to manipulate with your hand in the front. The visor uh, mechanism is right above that, right here. And uh, the visor is nice, I mean it's got what do you call them, detents, you know, like the different positions of opening. There's really just all the way open detent and all the way closed detent. There's no real specific ones in the middle. All in all, you know, if I think about it, I don't use all these middle positions very much. I've usually just got it open for some reason. I'd never ride with it open like that. But I'll sometimes ride with it just a little bit open to let some air in, and it does have a little bit of a position there where it's slightly open. Unless, if you, until you slam it shut, and then you've got a nice seal. Uh, it's pin lock ready, does not come with pin lock. Uh, most helmets in this more budget uh, category do not have pin lock with them, but they're ready for it. You can buy them for it. And another thing this one has is, you know, the built in um, sun visor. I'll pop that down so you can see it. I have an LS2 helmet that has this on it, and I really find that this comes in handy sometimes when you're riding along. Even though I'm going to put a smoke um, visor on this, um, my eyes are pretty sensitive to light, so I'm going to enjoy having both the smoke visor and this as an option for additional cutting of the glare if I need it. Those are kind of the characteristics of the helmet so far. You've got venting visor, your drop-down internal visor, uh, and mechanism for that is over here. And then let's take a look at the inside. Here's one reason I got this, this helmet is that they do a really good job of the, in, the internal liners and cheek pads are super, I don't know, they just feel uh, substantial and they feel like they have it has really good quality. That X, X3000, I keep going back to that to compare this to it. Uh, so maybe I'm kind of doing a review on my, of the X3000. There was no chin curtain and really there was no uh, neck roll to speak of, okay, but it's probably like this this wide, all right? And, and you can see how narrow this opening is. And so, of course, you've got to pull it apart a little bit, squeeze your head in there. But really keeping a lot of the air out, and, along with this chin curtain, to prevent a lot of that helmet lift, and it also uh, cuts down on the noise. So, I mean, again, once I'm not going to know for sure until I get this thing out on the road, and ride in it, but I have a feeling it's gonna be quieter and it's not gonna produce the helmet lift that I experienced on the X3000. So, let me see if I can get the liner out and show you that. Okay, I'm just, I'm feeling the, the cheek pad uh, snaps. Okay, got two. I'm not exactly sure how this one works. They are all a little bit different. I don't know if I showed you the straps or not, kind of cool. This red uh, double D ring snap and the straps are kind of typical, you know. Here's your snap back on the um, strap. And okay, here we go. So here's how my cheek pad and neck roll kind of come out together, it looks like. I need to get the strap through here. Uh, I think, a, yeah, snap back there, and then, yeah. So that's the whole thing on one side, if you can see that uh, material. And there's your cutouts for speakers. On one side, chin vent comes out. I'm not gonna take that out right now, but I will pop out this other side. I do wanna get the crown uh, padding out. 
show you that because they, and one thing Sedici did that I like is they've added some padding along the top and front uh, that is removable. That is, I mean, you have the option of keeping it in there, like, I forget, like five millimeter worth of padding that you can choose to leave in at the front and sides, or you can take it out and just have it on the sides, or you can take it out of the front, double it up on the sides, which may be what I end up doing to get it to fit the way I want it to. So I've got two cheek pads out. Just kind of checking out the quality. I don't know, you know, uh, this is a, a $220 helmet. Um, you know, and it, as far as quality and craftsmanship are concerned, you can tell, I mean, that's not an expensive helmet. That AGV I have has some obvious, you know, just you can just feel some obvious differences uh, between the quality of that and the quality of this, but you get what you pay for. I still do think it's a quality helmet. The shell on this is a fiberglass and aramid uh, blend of material. So, you know, it's got the ratings, it's got a dot rating, as well as an ECE rating. Uh, so I, I'm comfortable with that. I'll keep taking out this liner so I can see what that foam padding on the top looks like. Oh, I see. Okay, now I get it. Yeah, yeah, it just pops. It just slides right out of these. And I got to take this all out to put my comm system in anyhow. So I'm just going to go on through it. And there's snaps at the back. Just a couple snaps. And there is our top padding. Here's the inside of it. Um, a couple of channels here for air to flow, but not very deep. And again, I'm just comparing that to really to the AGV. Here's that top padding. I just want to take a look at uh, what they've given or what they, they claim to have given with this additional front padding. Here's what it is, right? So it's this padding right here, um, which is just an extra piece of little foam that can slide out, okay? So, you know, how do you make that a big selling point but really it's just it's this it's this much foam that you can you can take out and on the sides there's a little bit right here right at the temple so this just reminded me size medium is what i ended up with i tried on medium and large but i went with medium because it was even though it's like pretty it, i mean it's tight on my face right now but that's brand new right so you know over time this is gonna the stuff is gonna relax it's not gonna be as tight but I didn't want to get the large and have it be too uh, too loose over time because I really like it to be a good snug fit. So like I said, I did go with a size medium on this. Uh, I was gonna say the medium large are both the same shell size. This comes in three shell sizes. So this is the medium size shell that that accommodates both the medium and large size of helmet. Okay, just want to throw that out there. Uh, I'm going to do the visor change. It's supposed to be really easy. I just <laughs> watched uh, the Revzilla guys do it. So pop this up. This is supposed to... And now I should be able to just pop that, yeah, pop that out. The back, hopefully that's exactly how it was supposed to go. But yeah, it's like, oh, okay, I see what it's doing. It's just sliding that forward, basically. And then you pop the, sh the uh, visor in and, and let it back. So this just slides forward, visor comes off. That's pretty sweet. You could do a, a quick roadside change if you needed to on that. The fact that you have to work at it a little bit on the AGV to remove the visor probably just speaks to the higher quality of it. This being so easy to come off, it makes me a little bit you know, concerned about the quality of it, and how how durable and how long lasting that's going to be. So here is the uh, tinted dark smoke. They have a smoke, a dark smoke, and a bunch of the other colored ones. I thought about going with like an orange iridium, but it just wasn't my vibe. There we go. Let's go. I'm going to start with this side. Okay, that should be it. I think it got it in there, the, pulled it forward, got the notch. Okay, now, I, okay, there we go. So that snapped in, if you heard it. Um, we're gonna try this side. There's my notch. Pull this little lever. 
top to back. And it should have a functioning visor. All right, so there is the new look of the Sedici Strata 2 with the smoke visor on it. Really easy visor change. I'll say that. Um, it seems to be locked in there. It seems to be working good. I'm gonna get this out on the road as soon as I can. Take some rides with it. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe so you know about upcoming videos from me. If you like the video, hit that like button. Ring the bell if you wanna be notified of, of upcoming videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. Go out there and ride and ride safe.